we're on the Mount of Olives and in the panorama position overlooking the Kidron Valley and the old city. To my right, on the mount, on the lower level of the mount, there are three important churches. First of all, there's the Garden of Gethsemane and the Basilica of the Agony, which we can't, I can't pick out from here. It's probably below us. And on the slope of the hill is a little grey dome. That's a little um, Catholic church, uh, chapel, and it's called um, Dominus Flavored, the Lord wept. And it's believed that about that point where Jesus looked over the city and wept because they didn't know the hour of their visitation and because the city was going to be destroyed, which it was about 40 years later. Just below it, there are the golden domes of the Russian Orthodox Church and convent called Santa Maria Magdalena, which commemorates Saint Mary Magdalene. Lower down in the valley is a white church with a white square tower, which is Saint Stephen's Church, one of two churches dating right back to the early Christian few centuries, commemorating the fact that Saint Stephen was dragged out of the city and stoned to death as the first Christian martyr or proto-martyr. That church, between that church and here, is the Kidron Valley, which stretches right the way down to my left and joins up with what was called, is probably called still, but it's no longer a valley, but it was called the Tyropean Valley, and it came on the other side of the Mosque of Omar. The Mosque of Omar or Golden Dome there is now a Muslim shrine. And opposite it, the Grey Dome is the El Aska Mosque, which is very, very large. And it's where they have Friday prayers in the Islamic community. Twice in fairly recent decades, there have been major torrential flooding here in the Kidron Valley. Normally it's quite dry without water, but in the, about 1948 and then about 1978, I'm not sure the exact dates, but those decades, there were a torrential flood which brought mud and debris. And it flooded the lowest lying holy place in the Kidron Valley completely so that it was full of mud. And that is um, the um, tomb of Mary. We've mentioned the tomb of Mary in previous, um, in previous dis discussions here on YouTube. And I'm bringing it up in particular because when after the most recent flood, when they cleaned it out, they found a burial place, a little chapel with um, burial places in it, which they hadn't known about for centuries. And it's generally called the chapel of Joachim and Anna. Now you might say, who on earth are Joachim and Anna? Well, the, a, a second century document or gospel called the Book of James or the Proto-Evangelium of James says that Mary came from up north and that her parents came from uh, Zippori or Sephir, uh, sorry, Sephori, which in Hebrew means a dove, and um, it's four miles from Nazareth. So it's fairly likely that they were locals because um, the, the family lived in Nazareth after Joseph and Mary were married and before, of course. Following the wall down to its corner point, and then turning to the west and following it along, you'll see a flat place with some steps down. That's one of the most authentic areas from the time of Jesus. Those stairs are called the Hulda Steps, named after the prophetess Hulda. And it, around it, you'll find many of the ritual bars 
or mikvah old that people used to purify themselves before they went up onto Temple Mount, which is this whole area to the right of that. Now, at the top of the Halter Steps, there are two uh, sets of gates. One's called the Triple Gate, one's called the Double Gate, and people went in one way and out the other. And those, the, the positioning of those gates although they're closed today, it's exactly as it would have been in the first century. And that went underground and brought people up in front of the Alaska Mosque area. The uh, grey domes that you see there are the uh, dome, no, it's only one dome actually, uh, the dome of the Alaska Mosque, a very large mosque where Friday prayers are held um, every Friday by the Muslim community. Just between it and the golden dome of the Mosque of Omar, or Dome of the Rock, just a little higher on the hill, you can see it, a grey circular dome with a little short square tower alongside of it, and then slightly further to the left, a larger, taller tower with more of a pointy top. Now the the left-hand side tower is the German Lutheran Church and it's only 150-ish years old. The, the round dome is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which was established by Constantine the Great when his mother, Saint Helena, came to Jerusalem to find the holy places and she found a number of them including one here on the Mount of Olives where she had built a church called the Eleona or Olivet Church which is just uh, mere small remnants of it now underground but this church Holy Sepulchre has been uh, destroyed and rebuilt a number of times including by the was destroyed by the Persians and rebuilt by the Crusaders and re redesigned and rebuilt in about eight, the early 1800s. But that is um, the uh, very traditional place of Jesus' death and burial and revered by many different denominations of Christianity. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed that video please press the like button. Also, if you want to be kept up to date with all of our new content, please press the subscribe button. If you find this content interesting and you'd like to find out more, let me encourage you to come over to our website, which is synagogueandchurch.com. And over there, you'll be able to find lots of information and you'll also be able to find some of our books that are for sale there. In those books is loads and loads of more information on these and many other topics. Thanks for watching.